What is up my rivals? Today we're going to be talking about the 5 best Iowa Hawkeye wrestlers of all time. Let's go into the video. Guys, at number 5 we got Brent Metcalf, a guy who competed at 149 pounds for Iowa and was a 3 time NCAA finalist and a 2 time champion. Also won the Hodge Trophy and he lost a year of eligibility uh, when he transferred from Virginia Tech to Iowa but since then it was just a very dominant wrestler and I think it's safe to say if he hadn't lost that year definitely could have been a 4 time All-American maybe even a 3 time champion. Now why we got him here at number 5 is because he's had some great success in the freestyle level. Uh, uh, he made four world teams and then also beat some great wrestlers during his college career like Lance Palmer, Darren Caldwell, and then also Jordan Burroughs. All right, now at number four, we got Lincoln McGravy. Uh, he was a key piece uh, during Dan Gable's uh, magical run as the Iowa coach where they won a bunch of team titles, but McGravy could have been uh, the first person in Iowa history to win four NCAA titles. He won two in his first two seasons before suffering a huge loss in the 1995 NCAA Finals at his home arena against Steve Marinetti of Illinois. So pretty big upset, but then the next year, uh, came back after an Olympic redshirt to beat the defending champion Chris Bono of Iowa State in 97 and then had a pretty successful freestyle career as well where he was, I believe, a world champion, uh, I believe maybe in 1999 or something like that. But a pretty dominant wrestler, uh, maybe the best under the Dan Gable era in Iowa history. Guys, at number three, we got Spencer Lee, another three-time NCAA champion. Lee definitely doesn't have the best career winning percentage in Iowa history. He's taken some losses to, I believe, maybe Tomasello, uh, Sebastian Rivera beat him twice also. So he has taken some losses along the way to become a three-time NCAA champion. But, I mean, he's just been a dominant, dominant wrestler for Iowa, scoring a lot of bonus points. It just probably one of the toughest riders in NCAA history on top. So Spencer Lee, the reason we don't have him any higher than number three is because he lacks the experience in the Olympic level. All the guys ahead of him are Olympic placers and Spencer Lee, although he won an NCAA championship uh, on two torn ACLs this year, couldn't go to the Olympics, uh, go to the Olympic trials because of that. So that's why we got him here at number three. Guys, so at number two, we got Tom Brands, who finished off as a three-time NCAA champion and a Big Ten champion, and is also the current head coach of Iowa right now. Uh, was named the outstanding wrestler of the 1992 NCAA championships, a year which he went undefeated, and then the year before that, in 91, was also an undefeated wrestler. But finished his career uh, ranked second in season wins with 45, second in career wins with 158, and his final record was 158, seven and two. Now, I'm not really sure why there's a seven in there, maybe that's ties or something, but if anybody knows, leave that down below in the comments. So, a successful NCAA career for Tom Brands, uh, but then in the freestyle, circuit finished off as an olympic gold medalist and a world title holder so became one of only three wrestlers to hold an olympic title a world title and three ncaa championship titles so a very very successful career for uh, iowa wrestler tom brand guys at number one we got eddie the horse bannock uh, as he was known during his college days he was one of the most exciting and entertaining wrestlers to watch in the 80s while he wrestled for iowa at 177 and 190 pounds he recorded 73 pins in his career and was a very explosive and aggressive wrestler for iowa uh won NCAA championships his freshman his sophomore and then his senior season as a junior however he did lose to mark schultz a uh, guy who went on to win three NCAA championships himself so wrestled a lot of tough competition in the 80s where wrestling was probably at its peak to be honest but ended up with three NCAA championships and then freestyle went on to win an Olympic gold medal in Los Angeles in 1984. So a great wrestler in both NCAA and in freestyle and probably one of the best wrestlers in Iowa wrestling history. Subscribe to our video talking about the five best Iowa wrestlers of all time. If you guys disagree with any of my picks or feel like I missed some of these guys, make sure you leave a comment down below. But yeah, subscribe to our video. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment down below for more wrestling content like this. Peace.